Continuing coverage now of a 13 on your side investigation into a custom suit shop in downtown Grand Rapids. We first reported about Mel Styles on Division Avenue back in January. Unhappy customers contacted us after they did not get what they paid for, along with no refunds. Since then, the shop is closed. However, more victims are sharing their story. 13 on your side's Carla Byron is live in the newsroom with the latest from a couple whose big day is just days away, Carla. Guys, Tanisha Abron and Jason Cummings wedding is this Saturday and they still haven't gotten everything they ordered, including shoes and tuxedo shirts, along with their refund. They didn't see our original story, so they had no clue other customers had concerns. We were never notified that he was having any turbulence in his business at all. <laughs> Tanisha Abron reached out to owner Archie Sidhu on Mel Styles Facebook page in November 2021. In February this year, she put in an order for her wedding, a total of $930. We ordered a tuxedo for my fiance and two tuxedos for my one year old and my eight year old. He came off as very genuine, you know, it was all smiles. It was all happiness. He had made us truly believe that we were in good hands. In July, Abron noticed the shop on Division Avenue had paper covering the windows. But the day when we were supposed to meet him here on the 24th, he called me last minute and said, I got this new, a, a different address where you guys can meet me at. That address, Abron says, belonged to Sudhu's mother. And unbeknownst to the couple, Sudhu closed shop in July. The exact reasons why are unknown. On August 12th, nearly a week before their wedding, the couple says Sudhu became elusive. This was the day they were supposed to meet to pick everything up. So I text him, hey, are, did you make it to Grand Rapids yet? Yeah, Tanisha, um, I um, can meet you later on today. I said, okay, do you roughly have a time? No response. I called, no response. The couple ultimately got their suits, but not their shirts, bow ties, nor the groom's shoes. Their wedding is this Saturday, and they also haven't gotten a refund. 13 on Your Side ran a story in January where we talked with two grooms who had a similar story. There are some things that I'm still learning as a small business owner, and there are things that I don't have control over as a business owner. But also, when it comes to communication, I'm learning to communicate this appointment with my customers. At the time, Sadu apologized to his customers and told us he's dealt with a continual shortage, a vendor problem, and missing or delayed products from UPS and FedEx. Recent court records show a loan institution sued Sadu in March 2021 for $7,800 for an unpaid line of credit, interest, and attorney fees, which he has yet to pay back. In May this year, the institution filed a motion to allow a court officer to arrest Sadu. However, the judge denied it, saying the court already issued a bench warrant. This after Sadu failed to appear at a court hearing and refused to obey a court-ordered subpoena. Our day is going to be our day, despite this setback. The couple just wants others to be aware so they're not taken advantage of as they feel they were. He needs to be shut down. This he, needs how, to be a, he needs to be held accountable yes. for his actions because yes. if he hurt us and he's hurt multiple others, he definitely needs to be shut down. This couple is considering taking their complaint to small claims court. In addition, the Better Business Bureau received one complaint from May about Mel Stiles. The Attorney General's office hasn't confirmed whether there is an investigation. However, they're encouraging people to file complaints with their department as well as local law enforcement.